three or four trucks gone over there. I see three, as Boris said, in the 40. Four, Toby Porter in the 10. There goes this Boris Lee. Going to drive away from it. And the caution flag does wave. Yeah, a new record for cautions on a super speedway racetrack. The NASCAR Craftsman truck. That's the 12th of the day. Any Irwin on the inside of the 10 of Porter. He loses control. I didn't even see him spun over there. They lose control. Yes, that was the other truck. I said three was there, and three were there, and... Boy, look at him missing it. Out in the world, and we started seeing that. stops on pit road. Look at him from our speed shot. He come off the corner. Never see Kenny Irwin going around. make some contact with the outside retaining wall. It did look like it was too severe. Big wide racetrack, but the racing groove itself is somewhat narrow. Here's what Sen saw as he arrived. Man. He got the nose off the ground in that little accident. Kenny Irwin Jr. Arguably triggered for that, or at least involved in the initial contact with number 10. Porter that sent them both around and created the chaos behind him. Dealing with Compton. I think so, because he's on the inside. That trouble is just on the inside, been losing the back end of the corner, and as they save it, go up the hill, make contact with the other truck. This time, Irwin was able to keep his truck under control and takes his spot away from Stacy Compton. Troy Selberg is the crew chief on this 86 truck. Butch Mock, the owner. Butch, Butch insists. Officially, oh. the owner of oh. the wall goes by a Prefner in the 66. Did a pretty good lick. We've got yellow again late. That's Refner involved in a uh, pretty major incident here. Yes, heavy, heavy contact with the left rear of that truck. Mm. Brian Refner, former ASA champion. Former ASA Rookie of the Year moving around inside. Now down comes the window net. The universal sign that the driver is okay. Let's take, take a look. look. There we see the 99 truck going on the inside. Refner does not realize that Chuck Bounty is there. He comes down the hill. Oh, I see Bounty tries to get on the apron of the racetrack to dodge him. When he gets sideways, he goes up and bangs the 66 in the left rear. Bound did a heck of a job of hanging on to that thing. About bounced out from under him, but Refner pays the price. Here's another angle. And watch as the 99 gets on the apron of the racetrack. There we see he's going to go down and get on the apron of the racetrack, get sideways. When he saves it, back up the hill he goes and in the left rear. And Jimmy Hensley in the 43 drives by. Jimmy had a pretty good look at all that. Incidents on the racetrack here at Walt Disney World Speedway across the way at the Lake Buena Vista Golf Course. The action continues and we'll go there live immediately following the conclusion of the race. Stay with us. Butch Miller, Rich Bickle, and the rest of the field. If Bickle's got a seven-cylinder truck, I'd say he's hanging on pretty well because in that orange and black, he is in fifth spot. We've got one more look at the mishap that has just put us under this, well, I hope, final yellow of the day. Riding along Jimmy Hensley. And he goes in the corner, and all of a sudden they wreck in front of him. He just nails the gas and says, let me buy. Now, our scoring monitor has blown up. Now we, okay, now it's working. So we're showing 193 on our monitor. The, so there must be six to go when they get the green flag. Cannot finish under yellow in the truck series. In the event we would have another yellow, they would go to a, uh, at the end of the race, they would go to a, uh, a, a white flag and then a green. Let's go to Marty quickly. All I can do is I talk to uh, Dennis Conner right the, during the yellow. He says, man, we didn't need that. He is so worried. He thinks Joe Rutman has saved his tires and has just enough to take his man. This is going to be some kind of shootout. Conner's a worry wart, Benny. He, uh, he's been upset about that. There's Dennis. Got a lot of experience over the years. Used to work with Harry Hyde. He fears Joe Rutman in the Ford. We'll find out what Joe's got for the leading Chevy and Jack Sprague as the green goes in the air. And that's a single file restart. Only the cars on the lead left. Nose to tail. So the guy you're battling with, you're right beside him. Sprague, good restart. Pulls 
top four truck lengths on Rutman. Rutman closes it up a bit through the corner. Now down to the scary part of the race track. Number three. Go through there fast enough to shake that camera every lap. Making a truck length difference here in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series opener. Here comes Rutman. Connor's worst fears realized he is there and challenging Jack Spray. Frank got the car, the truck loose as he came off the second corner. Just about lost the back end. They were concerned about the right front tire. They might have adjusted for that. And now the truck a little bit too loose. Position fight behind him. Butch Miller blasts his way through, picks up a spot. Bickle comes with him to fourth. And the victim of that was uh, the sixth truck of Pirelli, who's now back to fifth. Oh, he got a, almost had a crash up to three and four as Rick Crawford and the 99 of Chuck Bound made some contact. Bound's had a lot of fun here in the late laps. There goes Compton back in front of that bunch. Back to the lead. Measure it in inches now as Rutman attacks the Quaker State Chevy out front. Jack Sprague guarding the inside. Five to go. Rutman, three laps to go, three to go. Our score monitor is blown up, Dave, so don't pay any attention to it. I'll tell you what, there's only one thing we need to know right now, and that's what's happening on your television set, ladies and gentlemen. It has come down to these two guys. We'll keep you posted on the laps as we count them down. Joe well, Rutman, the LCI truck, did not win in 19... He definitely, definitely wants to do something about it. Go, almost had a spot to stick that nose, not quite. Jack Sprague won the last two races last year. Is determined to win this one again. Blocking maneuvers down the back stretch. Evasive maneuvers as Sprague tries to get away from the persistent Rutman. That guy in third place, Butch Miller, might be in pretty good shape. Into the grass goes Sprague with a lap to go. White flag flies. Rutman trying to get the nose alongside. They touch. They're goes Sprague. He's into the outside wall. Rutman goes by on the final lap of the race. Rutman making contact with the tail of Sprague's truck. Sprague goes around and Rutman appears to be on free. Uh-huh. Here comes Joe Rutman to turn wow. three. And yes, like I said, Bush Miller almost was in good shape. <laughs> well, they say all's fair and long war in the last lap. And Rutman takes the checkered flag in the Ross Racing LCI Team Ford, his third career NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series victory. Ross Racing, he won two races in 1995. Here's how it happened, Benny. Well, he goes down in the corner. He hits the brakes awfully hard. He thought he had a run, but he saw that Sprague was coming down. And we saw the nose of the 80 truck go down as he tried to stop. He couldn't. Made contact. And a gut round goes Sprague. After leading 175 laps today, Jack Sprague's race ends against the concrete wall outside turn one. 